Hey, yards people, gun people. Doing my little, uh, every once in a while I'll clean my tables off and I'll put some of this wax. Um, this is a Verathane paste wax. And you can use any paste wax. I use this on my tools. I use it on, uh, to stop rusting. But, uh, I don't know, once a year or so I like to, uh, give my benches a rub down with this, uh, paste wax and uh it usually ends up being pretty good i'll show you a before and after uh what it looks like okay so i kind of uh i got a rag here so i can wipe that off uh, so i usually wrap it off with kind of a, a dirty rag already so i already did these the other day these two and you can tell i mean it just it just puts a coat of wax on it to uh make it easier to wipe off fills in the scratches makes it feel smooth i mean it's a work table so it's going to get beat up but that wax especially if the rain comes in it helps protect a little bit uh, what i did here is here's some some this is just a plain wood table that i didn't you can tell these i put a coating on and uh this one i just left bare wood uh so i do my hard stuff here if i'm gonna be chipping or something but you can tell the bare wood here versus here where i put the wax and i don't know if you can tell I drew a line like right here, and this is waxed, and this is not waxed. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, polish that off and see if you guys can tell the difference. So, can you tell the difference on what the wax does? No wax? I can feel it. Wax, much smoother. So, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Uh, and then I put wax over here too, and I haven't wiped that off yet. So we'll go ahead and wipe that off after it's dried. And this is just like paste waxing your wood floors. It just puts a uh, little bit of a shine and a protectant for water. And I'm always getting a wheel and all kind of crap on here. All right, so uh, you might be able to see that it put a little shine on the part that's uh, waxed. And then this side, I only did half. So I, I took half the wax off on this side and I, the wax is still on on this side. And this is kind of what it looks like when it's dirty and it's got crap on it. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and buff that off real quick. And man, your rag really sticks. Uh, you have to keep changing it. I'm, I was gonna throw this rag away. It was actually in the, in the trash already and I pulled it out. And I was like, you know what? I'll just use it one last time to uh, remove this wax. I have a bunch of old t-shirts that I'm, I always keep in a grab bag. So I can tell when I get the wax off because it doesn't stick. It slides much like a fresh wax floor. All right, we'll just run try to get a clean spot. <laughs> and I'm still getting stickiness so there's still some wax that hasn't been removed which is okay I mean hell I could stop here I probably would stop here if I wasn't doing the video and I don't know if you could tell the difference or not on this camera that it puts a little uh... and again it just makes it the uh Makes the table uh, easier to walk on. I can tell when it's clean. I can tell when I have something on it. So uh, this one is so trashed. I mean, it was really bubbled and I let it get wet a few times before I put some stuff on. So it's really, this is a hard, hard table, but I put that coating on it so it stopped, water would stop getting on and bubbling up. And so the wax over the coating helps that. Let me get a, uh, clean towel here this a little bit better and see if, if I can remove any of that residual because I still see it I don't know if you guys can see that I still have a little uh, wax on there if I look down here I can usually tell where the wax is still there okay I don't know if you guys can see it but I see the wax right here still there <laughs> Rick, you 
just took all the stuff off that you put on. Oh, I'll be quiet. <laughs> it's just getting in the pores and giving it a little protective coat. And I love having my benches cleared, a little smoky. I put a little timer for those that didn't watch my horse channel. I put a little timer over here so it comes on uh, right there in the corner. It comes on at, uh, I think, 10 at night, and it stays on till 6 or 7 in the morning. So he's still getting some heat. <laughs> he's like, dude, why are you messing up my sleep time? Is it still warm? Oh, it is still warm. Oh, my goodness. Monkey loves his little heating pad. There's a little germinator. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's so warm. All right. So that's what I do to my workbenches every once in a while. A lot of people ask me different things about my workshop thing every once in a while. So I said, hey, what the hell? I'll tell you what I do. You don't like it, don't do it. You like it, do it. Oh, all right. I think that's it. Now I got some, uh, I don't have any really projects going on. I'm going to relax today. It's Saturday. I got my live tonight and uh, we'll see how that goes. All right. Y'all have a good one. Did I put up any new flags lately? I put up any flags lately. Everybody see all the damn flags I had? I don't think I did. I don't know what I did something in here. I had a couple projects. I can't remember what the hell I did. Oh, these little things are great. Get these on. Oh shit! Got a low battery. Hopefully it was still recording. Uh, these little things are like they're really strong. And you can get the big hooks, the little hooks. They've even got the swivel hooks that will move around. And I mean, they're just handy if you've got a lot of metal. So I've got all these places here I can put these little hooks and hang things. It gives me extra hangers. I wanted to hang this here so I knew where it was at uh, so I could see it. Because when I'm looking for something, I like to scan and find it. So having these little magnetic hooks that I can move around. Got one here for little this little brush. Um, but very, very, very handy. Uh, what a hang over here. I, hang, I hung a salt pepper shaker on this one over here. They hold like 60 pounds or something. Uh, so those are, those are pretty freaking handy. I was, oh, my, my electrical box. I don't know if I already posted that. Did I finish that? I don't know if I already posted it. That box I put in, I did a complete video. I'll try to put a link on how I installed that. What a pain in the butt. All right, we'll let it there. Y'all have a good one.